Nazi spies are back on display again, though probably not in the way that the artist would have liked. No, protective cladding and scaffolding was removed over the weekend amid claims that plans to save the work for the town have ground to a halt. Ken Goodwin reports. When the Banksy appeared on the side of this house last summer, it was seen as cutting-edge satirical street art in a town which is home to the government spy base GCHQ. How very different mm -hmm. this Banksy looks from when it was created. Right now, it's a mess. The Banksy had to be covered up after it was vandalised by graffiti. Since then, a series of schemes to buy the Banksy for Cheltenham have been held up by complicated legal arguments over the listed status of the building. Now, the bank robber gallery, which was acting as a broker between the building's owner and potential buyers, has decided to take down the scaffolding and the panels which were protecting it. In a statement, the gallery's owner says he hopes an individual or the community will wake up to the fact that if nothing is done, come the spring there will be no mural. This work must either be professionally protected or removed if it is not to be lost forever. But a local businesswoman is campaigning to keep the Banksy in Cheltenham. I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to try and get the community together to protect it, to clean it up, and to have it on display for the public while everybody else continues their disputes and their battles, and let's at least have it out in the open for people to enjoy. A Cheltenham street artist known as Dice67 says the work can be cleaned up. I've already taken a bit off before. Um, we use, I, I painted the anti graffiti paint on there, so that has protected it from that. But obviously I don't want to do it until I get permission from the owner. The spies are still attracting a lot of attention from passers-by. I thought they were trying to save it, but they just left it to the vandals, as far as I'm concerned. This was an area where people used to come to see the painting, and now it's just a right mess. It's a shame that it's been spoiled. It's a shame it's caused so much turmoil. But I'm just really happy to see that it's unveiled again. The bank robber gallery's owner says he plans to try to purchase and remove the work so it can be included in a major Banksy show planned for Los Angeles in the summer. The spies inhabit a shadowy world, and now that their protective cladding has been removed, these are definitely back in the spotlight. Ken Goodwin, ITV News, Cheltenham.